Behind me is a 987S. I'm warming it up right now. That's why you can hear it in the background. Cold start has been surpassed at the moment. And I have some oil here. Today, we're doing an oil change. I know some of you really get specific with your oils. Mobile One Zero W40. I'll list a link below if you want this stuff. And everything else in the video, I'll list links below as well. We're gonna get started. I've got some parts behind me. I've got some stuff behind me. And we've ultimately got to bring that car out so I can get moving on this oil change. <laughs> Now that we've worn the car up entirely and have to wait to let it cool down a little bit, I'm going to go run and grab some gloves because I feel that is important to always do. Plus, why well, get dirty when you don't have to? I'm addicted to this stuff. If you guys ever see me out and you want to bring me a present, jack this car up and make it level. I don't necessarily need to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway just because I have time to do it. And why not? I'd like to drain all eight quarts of oil out of this bad boy, fill it back up with some fresh new oil considering I have... 10. Jacked up, level, still haven't got my gloves, about to go do that. I'm gonna get some oil pans too, considering this holds a good amount of oil. Yeah. There we go, I've also got some extra tools just because I think I'm missing some sockets. We've got enough volume, capacity in these pans. I've also got my gloves. I'm gonna put these under the car, situate them, get oriented, I'll bring you under with me. In order to keep this organized and whatnot, so you can follow along, just to show you all the parts and everything that you need to do this, if you wanna do the full oil and filter change and O-ring and crush washer change, I'm gonna show you the parts. Consisting of, yet not limited to, the Red Bull, you need a ratchet, Torx socket. These are pretty awesome. It's, well, it's a hex, they're calling it, but hex, Torx, same thing. Eight millimeter, three eighths of an inch. Yeah, you wanna make sure it's the right one for that too, just so it fits. Also, we have the filter wrench. This just grabs onto the filter because the filter, as I'll show you in just a second, is actually like a, a cap. It is not a piece of the filter connected to it. You'll see in one moment. Brush washers, that is for the drain plug once you remove it. And your man filter, pop this open. It is an HU719. 5X, like I said, this is the filter. The actual hard physical casing, the exterior casing is not attached to it. Yes, you'll prime this just like you will that. Links to all this stuff, as well as the oil, will be below. Make sure you check that out. I just wanna help you guys save some money and whatnot. Just made a video on these crush washers. Got 10 of these for 12 bucks. Porsche dealer, I found them selling them, them as high as $8 almost. Insane. Now that we are under the car, as you can see, that is the, that, that right there is a drain plug and you can confirm that by sticking this in there. As well as that is the oil canister, oil filter canister, I am sorry. And this is a 74.2 millimeter canister style oil filter cap removal tool. This is, I should probably get it in the picture. So we're gonna pop that and drain as needed. Before we proceed, one tip I do want to throw out there is that you have your hatch popped prior to doing all this just because it's less less chance of you getting things dirty. Yes, you have gloves on if you're following what I'm doing, but I just like to pre-expose the areas I'm going to be touching so I can put fingers in less places. It just makes more sense to do that. Also, pop the cherry on this and release all of the oil. At first, do not have the oil cap opened up. It's going to create more displacement for the air to enter the area that the oil is leaving and the oil will come out much quicker. You don't want to see an explosion. If you guys are lucky, you're gonna see an explosion here. It's happened to me before. It happens all the time. I'll verbally coach as we're going, and if you agree or disagree, feel free to follow along as well as you do your oil change. Otherwise, enjoy. Already got oil coming out here. So what we're gonna do... Press inward. Obviously you want to let this cool down. I can tell my oil's still mildly warm, but you just want to press inward. Perhaps with even another finger, just to make this not come out as quickly or aggressively. It's gonna come out though, trust me. And let it rip. And we've got this, if you can see, as well as the crush washer right here. Bam, bam, boom. Once the majority of it drains, then we will switch over to the filter. We are not gonna need that secondary pan. Boom! This pops right in. Do the same thing with that bad boy. This should fit right on, if I'm not an idiot. Yep, it seats right in there. Just gotta line it up, and then we can get moving. We got the new crush washers, we got the filter. I'm not gonna get that dirty yet. Readjust this and get this off. Once you get it loosened up, 
you can you can pull this if you are able to otherwise just yank this out press forward again make sure you're covering the area you need this is going to drop a significant amount of oil as well so just going to back the camera up too just in case and aha there you go and the filter is seated right in there. It just pulls right out. Give it a look real quick, just to see what the deal is with it. Always check your filter, make sure it's clean. There's no metal fragments or everything, anything in it. I've tracked this car quite a few times. There's also the O-ring right in here. Pull the new one out. The old filter versus new filter. Oh yes. Prime it and then we'll be good to go to put this filter back on. I'm gonna wait for the oil to drain first. Check out the inside of the canister. Nothing looks sketchy in there. Just black, black, black. Give it a wipe down while I'm here. Might be too dark, but right there, this new filter will actually just slide right in. Clip in there, O-ring in the canister. You put the cap back on, you're good to go. Get rid of this crush washer, this devilish little part. Work hardening is what disrupts these from being able to be used again when they're aluminum. Some people don't even replace them. I highly recommend you do. Removing the O-ring. I just use this little piece of metal to get this and hook this and then get my finger in. Then I can pull around and bang, yank this O-ring out. As you can see right there, old O-ring, grab the new one just for good measure, why not? The way I'm doing this is just putting it down one side, guiding my fingers through and bam, roll it down. Make sure that's clean in there too. Prime this up with some oil. Get it screwed back on. Sliding that in just so it doesn't get stripped. I do not have a torque wrench on me. I think 37 foot pound is, is where they want it to be. Make it tight, snug. You'll feel a bit of a pull on the crush washer. And that bad boy is in there. Wipe that down. That should clip right in like that. And that will give you leeway to get this screwed on. I'm <laughs> going to absolutely wipe this down. All right, that is complete. Just so we can check this out together, you see the oil in here. It's dark. It is not totally black, but it's getting there. It's definitely... Uh, about time to change. Let's start filling this up with some oil. What you definitely need to do is do a nice uh, coolant flush through the entire engine. Kidding, don't, don't do any of that. It's a terrible idea. Now is that point in time where you ask yourself, did I put the crush washer on? Yes, did I put the drain plug, ba blah, 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 blah. drain plug back in and not strip it? Did I torque it to 37 foot pound torque? I didn't, but I made sure it's snug. You, I would recommend and encourage you go to the full route and torque it. Filter, we replace the O-ring, replace the filter, we lube the filter and prep the filter. Filter. Now all we have to do is fill this bad boy up. We're gonna dump a full five quarts in here. You can't see it yet. And then I'm gonna measure out three more quarts. Yank this bad boy off. Use the funnel because you're inside the car. This isn't like you're in the engine bay and if you spill oil, it's fine. Start dumping this. Dump slowly. You don't wanna fill it up too much. And also keep in mind, the car's not 100% level. So we didn't drain out 100% of the oil. What we did drain out is most of it. That's why I'm doing five of these. I'm dumping this in quickly first. Fill these up individually. That's five. This will make six. This will give us a seven. Numero eight. One quart is 946 milliliters. So it's not a full liter. If I do eight quarts, that means I do not have eight full complete liters. It's not to the point where it's so low it can desperately hurt the engine. Pull the funnel out. Throw this back on. Lastly, Close that. There you have it, ladies and gents. Just completed the oil change on this car. I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up. I decided to get changed real quick. Just to see, I know we're not perfectly level. Just trying to see exactly. I do not have a flat tire, you're lying. Okay, that is how you change the oil on this car, 987S. It is a .1, not the .2. I don't believe the .2 is much different. 74.2 millimeter oil filter wrench, as well as the eight millimeter or three ace hex tool, just that little socket, and then you need your crush washers, you want your filter, the filter should come with the O-ring and that extra casing. If you wanna get another one, it wouldn't hurt. There's no need to do so. And that really sums it up. Make sure you have some gloves around and make sure you have the fresh oil. I use the Zero, Zero Winter 40, Zero W40. I know some people it's gonna trigger because some people think it's weight or winter. It's winter, Zero Winter 40. Some people use it 50, some people use five, five W50, some people use five W40, some people use Zero W40. 
40 or 50. It's really whatever your situation is. In my situation, I feel 40 works the best for my climate and things I'm doing and whatever you want to call it. If you're tracking the car, 50 would probably be another good choice too. Or if you're in hot temperatures a lot, you could stick with five. It depends. Some things change variables in engine wear and whatnot. I'm not going to get into that. We'll do that in another video and go over all that stuff, the breakdown of what will is best actually. It's a good idea. With that being said, I'm going to leave you off here. Again, links down below for everything that you are interested in as far as what you need to change the oil, all the parts that you saw in this video. Once I drop the car and it levels out even more, I'm sure we'll be right right at that point where we're at the perfect level. End the video here. Hope you all enjoy this video. Hope you all have got some value from it. Just changing the oil. If you haven't, let me know what I could do better in the next few videos I do that are the DIY type things. I'm doing a full 40,000 mile service and I'm gonna track exactly what took place with this. I would say if you did not factor in the time I was waiting, this took about 45 minutes. Aggressively simple. All you had to do is make sure everything's done. Good attention to detail and you're good to go and the car won't blow up. In that case, like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. That helps out my ratings and whatnot. And it's also just showing your appreciation and love for being so awesome. As you can see, I'm rocking the black suede snapback coming soon. I know at the call out event, we released some secret, a little secret batch of the uh, black suede caps. I'm gonna get a logo probably on the next batch. Maybe on this one. We're gonna throw a logo on. I like that. Let me know your thoughts about it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. That's just for your advantage. That way you can get these notifications uh, fed to you almost. You don't have to work for them or hunt me down or anything. I can just invade your computer at all costs. It's not really spammy. I, I don't post too much. I post almost daily. And last but not least, I will catch you later.